When she started making her body a collection point for food at age 14, after experiencing abnormal hunger pangs, Maureen Aya did not know that 25 years later, she would have to go to the grave earlier than the life expectancy of a woman in Uganda. Throughout the 25 years, Maureen ate just about anything that her body would take in, and she became obese or overweight. She stopped, you know, walking. She started to just crawl essentially outside her house. But she continued to eat, and if, as she did continue to eat, she continued to gain weight. And around three years ago, she became completely non-ambulant, and uh, therefore she just sat in one place. And while she sat, her internal organs became pressured. Maureen's health problems were just getting worse with each day that passed. Too much weight, followed by obstructive sleep apnea, followed by respiratory failure, followed by water retention. Aboard this pickup from her home district, Kitigum, because she could not fit in an ambulance, she was brought to Guru District at Lachol Hospital this April after realizing that her situation needed a doctor. This was a ride of hope for the mother of two, but it was to be her last ride in the world of the living. Her over 300-kilogram body was wheeled onto her hospital bed that could not accommodate it, but to her this was a step to healing. <laughs> Her weight drew people in droves. Some peeped through windows, but she was oblivious to this. With patients like this, recovery is not anything we talk about in, this, in the sense of time, in terms of days or months. For Maureen Aya, she will not have a month, nor will she have two weeks. She has only had six days from when she was admitted to the hospital. At 39 years old, Maureen passed away on Sunday, 22nd April at 9 p.m., and her glimmer of hope went with her. She will be taken to her village in Lagoro sub-county in Kitigum district for burial.